All right, so here I go again. I took out that old Pioneer. I put my old Pioneer back in, and I ended up picking this one up. Um, so it's just a Kenwood. I got this one pretty cheap price. I think I paid 450 bucks for it. Just unboxed it. Just get the normal stuff, but that's all boring. I did end up getting a new steering wheel control because, you know, the one I have works, but I've messed with it so many times, I think I got a loose connection, and so I just figured I picked another one up. This one's a newer model, so we'll see about hooking this up. But uh, And I also bought a new kit, too, because, I've, like I said, I've messed with that radio so many times, and some of the brackets are kind of bent and stuff. But uh, anyways, I'll be slapping this into the Yukon here pretty soon. We got her all installed. This is a couple of days later. I messed with it a little bit, but not too much. But uh, let's get a cold cool start. See how long it takes to boot up. It's the new Kenwood. Took out the old Pioneer. Went through the trouble with the other Pioneer. Um, I haven't had a Kenwood since 2005, I believe. Figured I'd give him another try. I've always been a Pioneer guy, but man, look how fast that was. I mean, in my opinion, that's pretty fast. Okay, so let's talk about the pros. Well, let's talk about the cons. Actually, the cons, I don't have too many, but um, I probably, let's see, the biggest one, I'd have to think. See, I'm still getting used to this radio, but if you go to, uh, let's see, is it set up? And if you go to, I think it's maybe here. Yeah, so see right here this audio video like you have to I mean maybe there's some I'm doing wrong but you have to hit this like every time so I can so when I switch to the audio video out I'll go ahead and close this so if I go home actually let's go menu no okay let's go here let's go USB let me make sure to turn this way down I'm gonna get a copyright of course but see, so now it's playing this movie on the um, USB, you know, and seems to be fine. So then let's pull the screen down that I have in the back. Let's see, it's changed the source. So if, since I changed it, okay, so see, so now it's working. Playing the same thing that's on the front. But I had to do that if I, if I turn the truck off then it like goes back to just off and I have to do that on the Pioneer you can do you can set it to basically to mirror like the whatever the audio video out or you know you could just set it to mirror actually so see this is actually with the second zone off so I tried it actually let me go back here so let's go to setup and let's go to let me see is it this one let's go where is it display no where was that at let me go back here let me go menu maybe it's an audio okay right here zone control okay so it's on single zone so if I switch it to dual zone now it's just playing like whatever the movie is back here right and it's not playing it up here or maybe it is okay it is playing it but I could do something else up here but it won't stay that way if I turn the truck off and turn it back on then it reverts back so I'm not sure if there's some kind of setting to change that or whatever then you know that's kind of okay so basically you can get this going in the beginning if you just go straight to USB. Now another con I have is, so basically now if I switch to Android Auto, so let me turn this down all the way. Okay, so, okay, so I switched to Android Auto and I wanna get out of the map. This is another thing too that is a con, like the, the font on the Android Auto, I'm not sure if the Apple CarPlay is the same, but the font on the Android Auto is like, it's real, I don't know, it just looks like crap to be honest with you. Um, you know, I don't know, whatever. 
I play my Android or my Amazon Music, but if if once you connect this thing with Bluetooth, like it just, you know, everything just works. Of course, I say that, and then it's not working right now. What is it doing here? Oh, let's go. Maybe I wasn't playing anything. Let's just go to recent playlists. Let's just do some. Let's play some rock. So see, obviously you can't hear anything but okay so the Android Auto now that it's it's working so we go back we hit exit if I want to go back to the USB like it doesn't it won't let me watch so if I click here it's gonna give me an error see video video cannot be played while Android Auto is active and to be honest with you I haven't figured out how to deactivate Android Auto while it's, you know, once you connect it the first time, like when you start the vehicle up. So if I go back over here, let's go back. So see, if I hit exit, I mean, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but if I hit exit, it doesn't, like it doesn't exit completely. So I cannot play the USB while, you know, so basically I can't switch to it. So that's kind of annoying. I'm thinking maybe it's something I haven't figured out, but so that's kind of a con I have right now. Okay, so let's get out of this. Let's go back to, uh, oops. Let's go back to Android Auto. So the one thing I will say about this, 10 times better than the Pioneer is, like the Android Auto, once you connect this radio Bluetooth, the Android Auto just works. If, I, if I'm listening to some music you know, and I'm listening through here through my Amazon Music on Android Auto. And, uh, you know, well, actually, let me get out of here. So I just have it, like, on this screen right here. It'll just, it'll just play. Actually, let me go back. Let me play something. So then it'll switch to it. Okay, so see, so now it's playing here. It's playing some Godsmack. So if i'm listening to this i get out of the vehicle I turn it off when i get back in it goes right back to right where i was you know playing amazon music it just it's flawless like as far as that so for the most part i get in i uh you know i just drive to work or whatever my music starts playing it's just automatic I, I mean i very rarely will even use that usb out you know to play a movie or whatever that's so i'm not taking like a little trip which is not very often especially more recently all the crap going on but so normally you know it's not it's not even going to be an issue if i can switch to hd radio i mean that works you know per it works perfect um let me see here and if you go to let me see let's just go to audio so you have all of these actually this is let me go back here so let's go back to Android Auto, let's play. So let's. Come on. I'll make a fool of me now. Okay, so. Actually, I'm sorry. Let's go here. This is how I usually do it. So it has all of these settings here. Um. You know, actually, I need to turn this off. Okay, so that's, that's why it was giving me that issue. Okay, so it has your you know your crossovers which I have set uh, front rear sub you know has all that um actually I've been messing with this a little bit actually I think I turned this off when I was messing with it but uh, I think I had this at no, 6 dB anyways um yeah, because I was setting my amps and I was redoing everything. So I've been messing with this thing all big time. But So it has all the crossovers. It has this funky sound effect things that I pretty much just turn off. Um, the zone control, the volume offset. So like if you're, you know, the radio is, the volume is way different than the like the Bluetooth or whatever. You just, you know, you can adjust that. So like, or the USB or whatever, you know. I don't want to go through all this because there's videos about show all this stuff. But my video is basically to get... So but these are about in the same price range as the Pioneer that I had bought. It was a 4600 NEX, I believe it was. Um, I had so many issues with that. 
you know, the steering wheel controls weren't working. I had all kinds of, you know, people on the on the comments saying, oh, you hooked it up wrong, blah, 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 blah. You know what? It ain't rocket science to hook these things up. It really isn't. Um, I, I basically hooked this one up exactly the way I hooked the other one up, the way I hooked the Pioneer up, and everything works. As soon as I powered it on, everything works. I didn't even change out the steering wheel controls because I was like, you know what? Let me just try the steering wheel controls and see if they work. You know, just let's just see what happens. And I mean, it just it works. It changes, you know, it mutes it. it. Like everything worked. I programmed it the one time and no problem. So I don't know if my old Pioneer was having issues with it and the new Pioneer. I honestly have no idea. Maybe it's the way the connection is. I don't know. But um, th it works perfect. So I just left that alone. So I just have that other one as a spare now. But. You turn the truck on, man, it connects to Android Auto, you know, you have your uh, your maps, you know, whatever. It just, I mean, it works really good, honestly, for, for the basic stuff. I haven't dove into all this stuff, you know, what you can do, but, um, I mean, what can you expect? It plays my music. I use Amazon Music, and it plays it, you know, no problem. Um, actually, if you go here, and then you click here. It actually shows it like a bigger screen here. You know, just the font is kind of funky, whatever. But as far as use and connected to the amps, the steering wheel controls, all that stuff, the, the really important stuff, I mean, so far it's been good. I haven't even checked to see if there's an update. Maybe I should try to update it. It might clean up some of this font, you know. I don't know. But uh, even with this stuff going on right here, it's just works so much better than that Pioneer and I've been a Pioneer guy for forever let me tell you something I don't know how many Pioneers I've had so many and I basically loved them and you know I've had Kenwoods I've had Sony's I've had JVC's I've had a few other ones but Pioneer always seemed to work the best for me it always you know just I, I liked them so that's why I had bought another Pioneer again but then I went to this one uh, the Kenwood away from that Pioneer and Pioneer, I'll be honest with you, Pioneer needs to get their act together when it comes to connecting to Android Auto. You have to do some like Wi-Fi and, and you have to do like a hotspot and all this nonsense. It's crazy. With this Kenwood, you literally connect to Bluetooth and it that's it. That's all that's all it needs. And it works. I don't know how it does it. I don't you know, I don't know how it works, but it works perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna go. This is just a real quick video about my experience going from basically the same price range I think that uh, Pioneer was maybe $699 normally or something like that and this one I think is like $650 or so they're real close uh, these are the 2020 models they do make a 957 one like this but I'm pretty sure it has it's basically all the same because there's no CD drive or anything or I'm sorry no DVD or CD drive Basically the same thing, but it has a high resolution screen. I think it's a 720p. This one's 800 by 400, I believe. So, but I mean, whatever. You know, I'm just driving down the road. If I want to watch something, it doesn't have to look perfect, or whatever. But the other one's quite a bit more expensive. So to me, with the price you can get this one for, I got it on Amazon for I think it was 449. Basically does everything. You know, like I said, you don't have no CDs or nothing. But all I do is listen to Amazon Music or I listen to the radio. And uh, I have some USB movies on a USB that I use for when the kids are here and they, they listen to them on the screen in the back or they watch it on the screen in the back, you know, and and another thing too, uh, you know, if you wanted to bypass this for whatever reason, it's super easy, you know, the Pioneer, you had to touch this and blah, 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 that and pain in the butt, man, this is just way easier. If that's something you wanted to do, then you could do it, you know. So, just my first impressions. Like I said, I'm gonna, I probably will make another video uh, if I could figure some stuff out. Maybe I'll do an update on it if it has it. Um, maybe fix some of those issues that I'm having. Um, they're not even really issues. They're kind of just like, they're kind of nitpicky, whatever. But for the most part, I've had it in here for a couple of days. I've listened to it. Uh, I've messed with the EQ in a little bit. I'm still working on it, uh, working on the settings for the, you know, to make the sound where I want it. Um, but no doubt in my mind, it'll get there. Um, anyways, hope this helps somebody maybe to make a decision in this kind of a uh, mid-level, uh, 
you know, entryway, <coughs> I'm sorry, for, uh, you know, putting a new double din into, uh, you know, maybe an old vehicle or, because the, most of the new cars, they have some pretty nice stuff. This basically brings you back up to where uh, the new car stuff is, but it has wireless Android Auto, wireless CarPlay, um, HD radio, you know, just basically just doesn't have a CD or a DVD drive, but uh, pretty much everything else works on it. Anyways, signing off. Hope everybody has a good day. Peace.